Okay, for helping to put this one into the chat. Forty-three. Put into the chat. So, uh, let's do. <laughs> we're great at announcing. Please, please me. One, two, nine. <laughs> that took the Beatles right up to the top. Now, I know you want some pictures, and I know you want a few odds and ends, so... Um That's it, guys. In one take, I did that one. Again, please please me. Uh, to be exact here, let's see. On the date. Live, April 5th, 1963 at the uh, EMI Manchester, or the EMI house in Manchester Square, London, which was basically like the uh, Abbey Road Studios. It was a little private uh, promotional, um, private uh, concert for like a small group of folks. Probably the people who worked at EMI Studios. Uh, just the Beatles playing a couple hit tracks from Me To You and Please Please Me. Um, promoting the newly debuted album at the time, like 300 million years ago, Please Please Me, released in March 1963. Again, here are the photos. Please read the description for more information, um, more about the gear, the band, my gear, um, these particular versions that I do. Yeah, and a little bit about uh, you know, a little bit about the album and stuff like that. So that is please please me, and then again featured on um, the Past Masters volume. Uh, For me to you, also featured on here. For me to you, and please please me, I believe are the only two recordings that we have so far that was played on April fifth, nineteen sixty three, at the EMI House. And again. I showed the inside in the last video from me to you. We'll show uh, just some cool pictures in here. From me to you was re recorded about 13 takes on uh, March 5th. And I think the 13th might have been some mixing. 1963, which was the same studio session as recording... Um, Thank you, girl, and one after 909, the start of it. Some pictures here. I believe this picture here was taken at EMI House, probably sometime in 63. And this picture down here, I think, was during the From Me to You 
Thank you, girl. One after nine and nine session. Possibly, please, please, this session, too. George Martin's sitting there on the bench. So these are the two recordings that we have from this particular private show. And um, it just surfaced on the Internet recently. Somebody put it up. I won't say who. But um, I heard it, and immediately I was like, I got to put these on my channel. So, again, all respect and all uh, rights, of course, to the Beatles, but just trying to have fun and keep the thing alive. So I thought it was pretty cool to do, like, some bootleg recordings using the uh, Fender Squire 1960s Classic 5 Strat. thought the Sunburst would match good with the uh, Sunburst uh, Gibson J160E acoustic Lennon was using, and um, I thought this would also compliments um, Paul's first Hofner violin bass which was a 1961 violin bass by Hofner and um, I got this book here I got some cool pictures in here just a couple pictures I found in this particular book from this uh, particular show Let's see if I can find it here This picture right here is a great picture there from the uh, Please Please Me session from me to you looks like thank you girl session picture right here that was taken on that particular date April 5th 1963 that picture is taken on the show that I just did for the two songs from me to you please please me George Harrison looks like using his um, Gretsch duo jet and there's a uh, landing on the uh, Gibson uh, J160E electric acoustic guitar it's got it plugged into like a box 100 watt AC30 back there, looks like. And then there's Paul with his uh, first 1961 Hofner violin bass being held up by cello tape. <laughs> a lot of wear and tear on that bass. Later retired, later 63, and then it was repainted and it came back. And you can, it came back in the later Beatle years. You can see it at a. Uh, Twickleham Studios during the Get Back session where it reappeared and then like a really cool, awesome, new desert looking sunburst. And then you got uh, Ringo back there using his premier um, root beer wrap looking swirly uh, premier kit back there with the Zen symbols. You can see the posters and the pictures in the background of Please Please Me album. I got another picture from this particular show as well. Right here we got uh, George Martin standing with the Beatles. Taking pictures with the, uh, I forget what they call it, what do they call that? The Silver Disc Award. UK sales, get this stupid thing off here. UK sales. Um, 250,000 of their single Please Please Me were, I guess, were sold. Wow. And let's see, what kind of fun facts do we not know about Please Please Me? Track by track. Released in March 20, on March 22nd, 63. Please Please Me, the chart-topping title track without which there would have been no album. So that was basically the hit track on the song at the time, between that song and From Me To You. Beatles. Beatlemania. Got our Beatlemania going on the channel here lately. And, uh, 
Let's see here. Of course, I use the Hal Leonard Authentic Tablature Book as a reference. Please Please Me album. If you want to see what it looks like, how it's written. I do a combination of uh, John Lennon, George Harrison's parts you know, for some of the uh, lead stuff and um, rhythm stuff. Very fun song to play. Very easy. There's the back. John Lamb and Box Python guitar strap. Weighs a ton. Again, the strap. Again, uh, just to get that authentic bootleg sound, I'm using this little guy, which is a um, it's a Vox AC30 little cabinet running on a battery with a little tiny cabinet. Um, I'm sorry, Vox AC30, little mini head running on a battery on top of a little Vox matching cabinet. A lot of people make fun of these and think it's a joke, but uh, you can get some decent sounds out of them for playing late at night, practicing, and uh, you know, getting certain sounds, especially for like a bootleg kind of sound. So there you go, guys. Please, please me. Live at EMI House, Manchester Square, on April 5th, 1963. There's another two recordings for you in the books that I'll never play on guitar ever again. History now. Of course, gotta wear the Please Please Me shirt. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.